Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to do gradient text and this is a very simple tutorial. Um, it will take you uh, no time at all to learn this and I apologize if there's a lot of noise in the background. So we're going to go to our text tool and you type whatever you want, however big you want. I'm going to demonstrate with just text and it's going to be big so you can see it. And I'm going to move it to the center. And I'm going to change the text color just so we have something a little different. I'm going to change it to a um, kind of like a pinkish purple, just for something a little different. And for this tutorial, you for the gradient, you can do purple to pink, you can do whatever color to whatever other color. I'm going to do this color to white, so you can see the gradient. So I'm going to go to the text layer and I'm going to alpha to selection and I'm going to go up to select grow and I'm going to grow this by two pixels and I think that might be a little bit too big so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to grow just one pixel and this helps by not having a weird purple outline when you do your gradient it gets rid of that so it's very clean so you're going to make a new layer for this purpose and you are going to go to your gradient tool and as you see the dialog box it's black right now because it's in the foreground so I'm going to switch the black and white and now you see it as white and you're going to choose foreground to transparent in the gradient box so now you're going to click your mouse and you're going to drag up while holding the command key on the Mac and you're going to go as far as you want and then you're going to let go and you do this as many times as you want to get the gradient you want so this is what I did you're going to go to select none and you have this gradient and I think I did too much so I'm going to undo one of them and then I'm going to go to select none and as you can see you now have this gradient text and it looks really cool and it's so simple to do I hope you enjoyed this tutorial look out for the next one